So right there, we've got a complete edit start to finish. We addressed um, the white balance would turn up the heat and rosy dusk. Went on to spot sharpening and popping the eyes and the teeth with glisten. Went up to sumptuous smolder and masked it off of the skin and pretty much left it for the background and the clothes and the hair. And up to light optimizer, which gives us our contrast and a little bit of brightness boost in the picture. We could be done. That could be all we need to do. Um, she's got perfect skin. We don't even really need to do any kind of skin softening. Although I usually do run flawless face on most of my pictures um, to some degree. But, you know, we don't have to on this particular picture. But I wanted to throw in a couple extra little things. We're going to talk about directional lighting and toning. So when we talk about directional lighting, I can tell that there's a little bit of a highlight on the top of her head. And uh, I want to play that up just a little bit. So we can actually drop down to the sumptuous smolder layer and with, again, a black brush to kind of remove some of that sumptuous smolder. I've already got a 20% opacity brush. We're going to take some of that darkness off just right at the top. So where that light is kind of uh, beaming down on the top of her head, we're going to give it more purpose and make it feel like it's kind of angelically um, coming down and just kissing the top of her head. And just by simply removing the darkness from the top of her, we're going to achieve that look. If I go too far, again, of course, I'll just change the colors of my brush and go back to white and bring some of that sumptuous smolder back in. Maybe down here, we, you know, maybe I took off too much darkness down here. So before and after, I mean, we had such darkness enveloping her everywhere. And now we've got a little bit of brightness happening and that rim of light on the top of her head it's played up a little bit, it has more purpose, and it definitely gives more dimension to the picture. So beyond that, let's talk about uh, toning the picture. Now tones are super important and they can make a huge difference in your pictures. Um, the tones are actually located in the Creative Heart set and there's 19 of them I believe. And with these tones, uh, I use them sometimes for the entire picture and sometimes just for my backgrounds, sometimes just for certain itty bitty parts of the picture uh, using the layer masks and masking them in and out where you do want them or don't want them that's the key to it so let's just say for instance that we hit brown sugar now again like I said we could be completely done with this picture just with these colors here and you know save it and be good to go but we're gonna see how toning will make a difference I'm gonna hit brown sugar and hit play and what I love about brown sugar is what it does usually to the green backgrounds. It adds a little bit of matte feel to it. It also adds a little bit of uh, richness and color, but it does not look so good on the face and the skin and um, hair, as you can see. So this brown sugar is set at 80% opacity when it plays, and I'm going to increase that. So now I've got the background really looking rich and her skin looking not so good. So again, grabbing a brush. I already have a brush selected and we've got a white mask over in the layers palette so we need a black brush. I'm just going to hit the arrow keys to switch that to black here and I've got a 20% opacity brush going on and I'm just going to begin to remove this brown sugar. Actually I'm going to pop that opacity up to 50. I just hit the 5 key on my keyboard to do that and we'll start to remove some of this brown sugar from our hair where it's too intense, too crazy. I'm going to switch my brush color back to white, so I'm going to hit X on the keyboard, and we're going to start to pop some of this back in. And I'm basically just going to go over her cheeks again to give her a little bit more pink, maybe a tiny bit on her lips, and if that's too much, I'm just going to hit Command or Control Z to undo. But we'll go back over the cheeks just a little bit, maybe a tiny bit back into her hair. And you know, as you're using these masks, you're going to be going from adding in to taking out to adding in to taking out and so my finger is usually on that X key a lot I'm switching my brush color back and forth so I can add in and take out just on the fly if I go too far I just go the opposite way so really get a hold of those layer masks if you haven't already they will make all the difference in the world when it comes to your edits and and being pleased with your outcome so brown sugar let's clip that off and before you know real basic rich green and now we've got an ounce of like warmish reddish kind of color to that green and I like that but we don't have to stop there 
Um, I'm going to actually come in and make sure I don't have any of this brown sugar just right here on her eye. It kind of looked like it got a little dark, so I was just making sure I masked that out. Uh, maybe we want to combine it with something else. Like maybe I want a more pinkish kind of tones in the background. You can, you know, experiment and combine to your heart's content until you kind of figure out the tones that you like and what works for different situations and different color palettes. And I think I'm going to go with Raspberry Lemonade here. So I'm going to hit that and then hit play and it will run through and it's a grouped action so there are different layers inside of this raspberry lemonade that we can look at there's a sweetened a lemonade and a raspberry and I really recommend that you click the different layers in all of these actions on and off with their eyeballs to see what they do do you need that layer do you want to increase that layer opacity decrease it get rid of it um, you know they are built with such uh, versatility and customizability if that makes sense uh, that you know you don't always need every single layer and to totally customize the action for you make sure that you're aware of what these different layers do and just by simply clicking the eyeball on and off you can really tell oh yes I like that effect or no I don't um, maybe I just like it in certain places and not in others if we click the lemonade off we kinda get that hazy effect coming in and out if we click the sweetened, we get a little less pink in the picture when we turn that off. So there's different layers inside many of these actions that you can adjust. So I kind of like what this raspberry lemonade as a whole has done to the background and to the top of her head, but not so much to her face. So once again, using the layer mask provided there, I've got a black brush already selected. It's set at 50% opacity and I'm actually going to drop that down to 30 so I'm going to hit the 3 key on my keyboard and we're going to come in here and basically actually you know undo that command or control Z I'm going to drop it down to 10 so I'm going to hit the 1 key on my keyboard and begin to take some of this raspberry lemonade out very slowly these low opacity brushes will allow me to reduce effects very gently so it all blends nicely and I don't go too far too quickly so a little bit of that off of her face I think is actually going to help um, it just was a little too hazy for my taste so if we look at raspberry lemonade and we turn that on and off it's set to 60 percent opacity maybe we want to drop that whole action down uh, to like 40 and see what we like there so now it's kind of an airy um, lightly pinker kind of feel so let's go back and take both of these toning actions off, the raspberry lemonade off, the brown sugar off, and we're left with um, you know that deep green. We can keep going, we can keep adding tone upon tone upon tone. We can go in a completely different direction. Maybe we don't want brown sugar or raspberry lemonade at all, but we want to drop down and do something completely different. I'm going to pick my light optimizer layer. That was the last kind of editing layer that we did and I'm going to go up to the delicate section in the uh, creative heart set and experiment with maybe playing sweet delight oftentimes I'll do a rich edit basic kind of color edit and then I'll do a delicate action on top of it so if we hit sweet delight it's going to leave us with something very delicate and sweet and pretty and a little touch of pink in there and I'm going to drop the opacity of that layer down um, maybe to something like 30 percent and if I like that great and if not you know I could keep changing the opacity of it until I saw what I liked maybe I like it that much for the entire picture at 74 percent opacity but it's too bright for her face in which case we would just come in again with the low opacity brush and begin to kind of take that off of her face and you know slowly but surely removing just enough of it where she's poppy enough but the background is still sweet and light and airy. That's another option. We can also combine the brown sugar now on top of it. We could combine the raspberry lemonade on top of that too. So it's all in a matter of how you combine the tones, um, you know, playing, experimenting, coming up with combinations that maybe suit your pictures and your style. Uh, there's tones that are going to really go well with very light, airy kind of editing and there's tones that really um, speak to the rich kind of editing. If we wanted to go really rich 
and kind of somber feeling, we might do something like Sweet Maple. So I'm going to hit Sweet Maple, and we get kind of a darker, warmer kind of feel. I would mask some of this off of her face and, you know, experiment from there. Maybe increase the opacity of it, and we get deeper and darker, richer that way. And come in here with a brush, again, very low opacity, 10 and 20% opacity brushes, and, you know, remove some of that coloring off of her, leaving enough where she fits into the the new color we've created, but just removing it a little bit off of her. Um, Sweet Maple isn't one I like particularly for this picture, so if I don't like it, I could just turn the eyeball off or I could just drag it to the trash can. And we're back to the basic color edit. Again, experiment with these tones. Um, there's a world of options and choices for you to, to pick from. It's all in a matter of how you combine. So get your basic edits done and then go to the toning and play. I hope you've enjoyed this editing tutorial. You can find more information like this at my blog, michellecamephotography.com slash photoblog. To learn more about the Hardy Actions, please also visit the blog and click the Actions tab at the top. Thanks so much for tuning in and have a blessed day.